Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Osaka, Japan. We are off today, it's about 10.30 a.m. and we are off to Osaka Castle first thing today. We just got our tickets, we are going to Morin Mia Station and that is a close station to the Osaka Castle. We ran because the train had just arrived and we got here just in time. We arrived at the station and Osaka Castle exit number 3B. We are walking through a really nice breezy and tree-lined park to get to the castle. But the weather is almost perfect. It's sunny today but there's a nice cool breeze. It's not too hot. Amazing weather. We finally found the main entrance to the main tower of Osaka Castle, but this park is really huge and really nice actually. Check out the size of this moat. This is really an ancient castle built sometime in the 1500s, but it's been really uh, renovated a couple of times into a modern facility now. But one of the cool things about the castle is that it survived the raidings and bombings during the war. So it still remains intact and it's within a giant park. So it's a very, very pleasant area. There are some food trucks around here with some takoyaki and inside is a museum as well as a lookout point. But I don't think we may skip going inside. We're just gonna walk around this area uh, because we're gonna save our money for food. I am enjoying the views of the moat the most though. That moat is just giant and those walls are huge. And then you have a nice view of Osaka skyline in the background. We didn't spend too long at the castle but we did enjoy some time just walking around and hanging out. And now we are on our way back to the subway station. We had to come back to Osaka station because Panisha, Dwight's fiance, uh, is heading back to Thailand, so we dropped her off now on the bus and now we are walking around this kind of looks halfway between a mall and a subway station but I just looked up a restaurant that serves Japanese curry among other things so we're pretty hungry for lunch I think we're gonna try to find that and eat we were actually in Umeda station but we have to go over to Osaka station which is just over there Here's where we were looking for, it's called Eki Marche. This is a subway underground food center. The restaurant is called Camp, and I think they mostly specialize in Japanese curry. Hello. This is a cool restaurant. It's all camp theme, so it's, it's like we're camping in the middle of Osaka Station. Oh, that smells incredibly good. Wow. Wow, thank you. Ying got the pork with curry and there's some cheese on top of that. Oh, and that just looks really good and smells incredible as well. And I ordered the tomato ginger curry. And to keep with the camp theme, they also, instead of spoons, that is a spoon shovel. Oh, and I'll eat a chili on my first bite too. I better, I better blow on this bite for a minute real fast. Oh. Oh. That is extremely hot. It's a mild curry, but very flavorful. And I like how hot it is. And also that Japanese rice is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of Ying's, Ying's next, if she allows me to. 
Oh, there's a strand of cheese I'm about to lose. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, I'm not, and I'm usually not really a big fan of cheese on top of curry with rice, but I have to admit that tastes pretty good. Overall, it was good, a little on the mild side, but we were very hungry and needed something to eat, so that hit the spot and we are now walking around and I think we're gonna go check out there's a big department store called Yodobashi uh, and we're gonna go check that out now we are just stepping out of Yodobashi store and that is one of the most amazing stores I think I've ever been in in my life if you need electronics or even all sorts of other things they have a, a mind-blowing selection of merchandise. After walking around Yodobashi, I am pretty hungry again. So Dwight knew of this spot that he went to a couple days ago, which is a restaurant that mainly focuses on tuna, but it's kind of a, just a hangout spot. So we're gonna stop in here for some snacks and to relax for a bit. And they have wooden tables, and then you can put your bag underneath the table in that little trough down there. Most of their menu is all in Japanese, but they do also have a, an English menu. We got a little bowl of something called oden, which is like simmering tofu and other items. And so we got two pieces of tofu, and then this is a big slice of radish. And there's some mustard on the side there as well. And Dwight and I could not resist ordering the fatty tuna toro. Oh my goodness, that looks ridiculous. That actually looks almost like pork. It's so marbly and so white. Wow. Oh, oh. I've had, I've had Toto a few times, but I don't know if I've ever had just slabs like that of sashimi. Oh, that is unbelievably beautiful. And this one is the eye of the tuna. And I have to be honest that I'm completely surprised. I thought it was just gonna be a, a big giant eyeball on a plate but that's actually a stick and it looks meaty yeah so it must be some of the meat within the socket of the eye okay I'm gonna go in for a piece of the fatty tuna and this is actually I'm gonna eat it with absolutely nothing on it just pure steak no soy sauce no wasabi just pure steak this is one of the most beautiful pieces of meat that I think I've ever seen in my life I am going to eat this in one bite, but I am going to do my best to not swallow for a little while and just let it sit in my mouth. <laughs> oh my, oh wow. That is, that is like a little, a little brick of butter. <laughs> I haven't swallowed anything yet, by the way. The texture of that just literally like melts into like an oil with your tongue. Oh. Okay, I swallowed just a little bit right now, but I'm still just trying to savor that in my, in my tongue and my mouth and just, I think actually if you did not, if you could just leave this tuna belly in your mouth and just let it sit, it would eventually, like within a few minutes, just completely turned to liquid without you doing anything. And then you could drink it. Wow, that's unbelievable. Okay, and then we also got Chandra eel, tempura. So it's eel that's been battered in quite a, quite a beautiful batter and then fried until golden. So brittle. Oh, oh yeah, that's so crispy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you can just break the piece off. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. You can see the fish in there. And then the, that batter though, it's, the batter is so beautiful, golden yellow. I'm just gonna dip a little bit. Yeah, the fish is thin, but the batter is so crispy and just so freshly fried. The time has come to try a piece of the eye. And yeah, it looks almost, it looks like, it looks like heart. That must be, from like the socket of the eyeball. So it's not actually the eyeball. Or that could, that could pass as like a Sunday roast <laughs> from the appearance. And I'm not sure what this sauce is, but there's some mustard there as well, which I will go for. <laughs> well, 
that actually tastes like, yeah, that tastes like a beef roast, but more juicy and more tender. They have taken tuna to a beautiful level here, and this is just a great environment. The atmosphere is really picking up as people get off of work, so we arrived here at about 5.30, but now it's probably about 6, 6.30, so the restaurant has really picked up business. People are coming here to hang out and chill. This is a, an amazing chill spot, though. Yeah, I've already tasted the tofu and the radish, and they're really good, but really, really just light flavor, and the tofu is just really, kind of crumbly and just fills up with all that juice. But the juice, yeah, it's just very plain, but just somehow is very soothing. And a little bit of that horseradish wasabi mustard. Mm. Yeah, it's just crumbly like cottage cheese and just has a really good texture and just light flavor to it. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh I wasn't even Okay. Okay. I was expect Dude, I was expecting good, but that's even better than I expected. The fatty tuna and the other things that we ate here were so incredibly good that we made an impulse decision to order the This is called the minced tuna on the menu and it just looks ridiculous. That's like tuna cut into slices and then a yolk on top if things could not get better and then a sprinkle of sesame seeds and there's some there's some green onions there's some seaweed there's some cucumbers on the side there and then over here we also got the the scallops which are just sliced and then they look like they are just very very slightly blowtorched on the outside oh. Don't destroy the nest. Oh. No, don't destroy the nest. And then we can dip. Oh, okay. Oh no, we might have a leak. Oh. 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 Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> I don't even have to look at your face because I'm tasting it. Oh. Okay, as I was taking a bite. Some of the yolk dripped onto my pants, and I don't even care. That actually really reminds me of Hawaiian poke, except Japanese in style. It has kind of a, maybe a soy sauce, sesame, kind of a dressing marinade. And then with that yolk, it just takes it to the next level. Oh, it's, that's ridiculously good. Okay, now I'm gonna try the scallop. And let me put a little bit of this green sauce and wasabi on there. And then I'll just give it a quick dip in a little bit of soy sauce. That scallop is so sweet and so silky smooth. Just really good quality and really amazing. We just finished eating and as much as I would like to just sit there and just slowly eat pieces of tuna belly all night long, we gotta move on. Uh, but that really, really cool place to just hang out, to chill, to eat, to hang out with friends. Uh, when we arrived, if you remember, it was almost completely empty, but now it's just packed out. If you love tuna, you gotta check this place out. We just walked back to our neighborhood and we're just gonna quickly stop into Family Mart to do a little bit of shopping, get a few small things, and then we're gonna probably head back to the apartment. Uh, that was another wonderful day in Osaka. The highlight for me was the slices of tuna belly, the toro, just unexplainably delicious. Thank you all very much for watching this vlog. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.